Yes. So, um, uh, this is all true. And um, <laughs> so, yeah, so we had empires. In Europe, we had empires. Everyone had France and Spain and, and Britain and, and Turkey, the Ottoman Empire, full of furniture for some reason. <laughs> and the Austro Hungarian Empire, famous for fuck all. <laughs> yes, yeah, so all they did was slowly collapse like a flan in a cupboard. And the German Empire, very organized, always build an empire, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, build an empire, very Prussian. And then they'd celebrate with the World War and then lose the whole fucking empire by the end of the war. <laughs> then the 30s hit the Czechoslovakia, Poland, France, Second World War, Russian front, not a good idea. Hitler never played Risk when he was a kid. Because, <laughs> you know, playing Risk, you could never hold on to Asia. That Asian Eastern European area, you could never hold it, could you? Seven extra men at the beginning of every go, but you couldn't fucking hold it. <laughs> Australasia, that was the one, Australasia. All the purples. Get everyone on Papua New Guinea and just build up and build up. <laughs> and Hitler ended up in a ditch covered in petrol on fire. So, that's fun. <laughs> I think that's funny. Because he was a mass murdering fuckhead. <laughs> and that was his honeymoon as well. Double trouble. Hey. <laughs> Ava, let's marry him. Where shall our honeymoon be? Well, in a ditch, covered in petrol up fire. That's... I've already arranged it upstairs. Oh, how romantic, Adolf. Yes, I do. <laughs> Fun. What a bastard. And he was a, a, a vegetarian and a painter, so he must have been going, I can't get the fucking trees. Damn, I will kill everyone in the world. <laughs> he was a mass murdering fuckhead, as many uh, important historians have said. And, um... <laughs> But there are other mass murderers got away with it. Stalin killed many millions, died in his bed. Well done there. <laughs> Pol Pot killed 1.7 million Cambodians, died under house arrest, age 72. Well done indeed. <laughs> and the reason we let it, them get away with it is because they killed their own people. And we're sort of fine with that. <laughs> now help yourself, you know. <laughs> We've been trying to kill you for ages, so you kill your own people. Oh, right on that. <laughs> Seems to be. Hitler killed people next door. Oh, stupid man. <laughs> After a couple of years, we won't stand for that, will we? <laughs> and I, Pol Pot killed 1.7 million people. We can't even deal with that. I think, you know, we think if, if somebody kills someone, that's murder, you go to prison. You kill 10 people, you go to Texas, they hit you with a brick, that's what they do. <laughs> 20 people, you go to a hospital, they look through a small window at you forever. And over that, we can't deal with it, you know? Somebody's killed 100,000 people. We're almost going, well done, well done. <laughs> you killed 100,000 people? You must get up very early in the morning. <laughs> I can't even get down the gym. Your diary must look odd. Get up in the morning, death, 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 lunch. <laughs> death, 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 afternoon tea. Death, death, death. <laughs> Quick shower. You know, so, uh, so I suppose we're glad that Pol Pot's under house arrest. You know, 1.7 million people, at least we know where he is. Under house arrest. Just don't go in that fucking house, you know? <laughs> I know a lot of people who would love to be under house arrest. They bring you your food, you just, just stay here. All right. <laughs> Have you got any videos? You know, you just sit there all the so, and, and Pol Pot was a history teacher, and Hitler was a, you know, a vegetarian painter. So, mass murders come from the areas you least expect it. I don't know how the flip comes over, but it happens. So, yeah, so there was a lot of that, and we built up empires. We stole countries. That's, what you, that's how you build an empire. We stole countries with the cunning use of flags. Yeah. <laughs> you just sail around the world and stick a flag in. I claim India for Britain. And they go, you can't claim us, we live here. <laughs> 500 million of us. Do you have a flag? <laughs> we don't need a bloody flag, it's our country, you bastard. <laughs> no flag, no country, you can't have one. <laughs> That's the rules that I've just made up. <laughs> and I'm backing it up with this gun. I just don't think that's happening. So, um, but you can't do that in Church of England. You, you can't say, you must have tea and cake with a vicar or you die. You, you can't have extreme points of view. You know, the Spanish Inquisition wouldn't have worked with Church of England. 
Talk, will you talk? But it hurts. Well, loosen it up a bit, will you? Because <laughs> that's what it would be. Tea and cake or death. Tea and cake or death. <laughs> Tea and cake or death. Students with beer. Tea and cake or death. Tea and cake or death. Little red cookbook. Little red cookbook. <laughs> cake, you know, because cake or death, that's a pretty easy question. Everyone, anyone can answer that. Cake or death? Uh, cake, please. <laughs> Very well. Give him cake. Oh, thanks very much. Very nice. You, cake or death? A uh, cake for me too, please. Very well. Give him cake too. We're gonna run out of cake at this rate. You, cake or death? A uh, death, please. No, cake, 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 sorry, cake. You said death first. Ah, ah, death first. No, I meant cake. Oh, all right. You're lucky I'm Church of England. Cake or death? Uh, cake, please. Well, we're out of cake. We only had three bits and we didn't expect such a rush. So what do you want? Well, so my choice is or death. Well, I'll have the chicken then, please. Taste of human, sir. <laughs> Do you like a white wine? There we go. Thank you very much. Thank you for flying Church of England. Cake or death? Uh, I asked for the vegetarian. Ah, yes, the vegetarian. Yes, there we go, Mr. Hitler. There we go. Like a little wine. Thank you very much. You Nazi shithead. 